Police continue to investigate the deaths of a man and woman in South Paris. Police say their bodies were discovered Tuesday night inside an apartment on Market Street. Two children were also in that home at the time. They were not hurt and they are now in DHHS custody. News Center Shannon Moss has been following the story and joins us now with the latest on what the, is going on in the case. Shannon? Well, Cindy, there are definitely more questions than there are answers in this case. State Police spokesman Steve McCausland says autopsies on the bodies of Heather Bickford and Dana Hill, both 31 years old, began yesterday and work is still being done. Police have declined to say how Bickford and Hill died and they will not say whether their deaths are suspicious. We're told state police evidence technicians were back at the apartment this morning and wrapped up before noon yesterday. They were there all day coming in and out of the apartment, investigating and gathering evidence. At one point, an officer searched the two dumpsters in front of the apartment, climbing inside and searching through the trash. Police say Bickford and Hill's bodies were found Tuesday night after a man who knows the couple called police. Before Bickford moved to the Market Street apartment, which Hill was renting, she lived with her sister on Staples Hill Road in Canton. We talked to some of her former neighbors today. It, it's a shock. It really is. It's a, it's a deeply, deeply shock, man. Well, so what kind of person was Heather? Oh, I mean, she was a likable person. She was never, never, always happy, you know. I mean... Never said anything against people, always nice to people. You know, it, it's still a shock, yeah. Cindy, we talked to another neighbor who said Bickford was always very nice and he would often see her daughter getting on and off the school bus at the end of the driveway. People who knew Bickford and Hill are shocked and saddened by their deaths and are looking for answers. State police say they are hoping to have some answers to those questions in the coming days.